The 19th century saw mission as a dominant feature in Presbyterian church culture. When you see an institution like Princeton Seminary, which was sending out maybe 30% of its graduates to live and die overseas in service to Christ. And the question I have now, about 200 years later, is what happened? I think most evangelical churches in America are somewhat unaware of 3,100 people groups who've never heard of Christ. Safety, comfort, those play a strong role in the American mind, in the American Christian's mind. Liberal, unbelieving theology captured the heart of most Presbyterian churches. And liberalism kills mission. What are we here for? What really matters in our lives? We have an obligation to take the gospel where there is darkness, to take the church where none exists. The harvest is plentiful, the workers are few. We need to pray to the Lord of the harvest to raise up workers for the harvest. The stakes couldn't be higher. We're talking about eternity. We're talking about obedience to the command that Jesus Christ has given to his church. Theology that is truly theology it cannot leave you inactive. Just as pastors need to be equipped, no less do missionaries. We want to know our Bibles so that we are able to articulate the gospel clearly in any language. GPTS and Radius have teamed up to train people for taking the gospel to places where no church exists through this combination of programs to have theologically well-trained students with practical training, that's the hope. There's a reason why these people are unreached. They're the hardest places in the world to go. How can they hear without a preacher? And how can someone go unless he's sent? When you have the greatest gospel message, it's incumbent upon you to go out on the mountaintops and shout it to the nation, such that we're willing to lay down our lives to that end. This will bear fruit as we see these churches planted in places where they never would have been reached. And these are well-established, good churches that by God's grace will outlive all of us. Jesus Christ has been very clear about what the church is called to do. The question is, do we take those commands seriously? <laughs>